An infection happens when a foreign organism enters a person's body and causes harm. The organism uses the person's body to sustain itself, reproduce and colonize. These infectious organisms are known as pathogens. Examples of pathogens include bacteria, virus and fungi. Pathogens can multiply and adapt quickly. Some infections are mild and barely noticeable, but others are severe and life-threatening, and some are resistant to treatment. Infections can be transmitted in a variety of ways. This include skin contact, bodily fluids, contact with feces, airborne particles, and touching an object that an infected person has also touched. Now, how an infection spreads and its effect on the, on the body depend on the type of agent. The immune system is an effective barrier against infectious agents. But colonies and pathogens may grow too large for the immune system to fight. At this stage, infections become harmful. Many pathogens give off toxins that trigger negative responses in the body. Bacteria, viruses, fungi are different types of pathogens. They vary in size, shape, function, genetic content, and how they act on the body. For example, viruses are smaller than bacteria. They can enter a host and take over cells. However, bacteria can survive survive without a host. Treatment will depend upon the type of pathogen and this is where we come in as pharmacists looking at the types of treatments used to fight infections and what type of infections they help fight against. So this chapter of the BNF is quite hefty and quite lengthy. It covers a, a variety of infections and a variety of treatment types. To begin with, we'll look at principles for using antibacterials because this is uh, actually very important. And uh, we've noticed over the years the rise of superbugs. So it's important that we understand how we want to use antibacterials. We want to use them carefully, selectively, and with purpose. Now, then we go on to look at bacterial infections. Not only do we need to know all the types of antibacterial drugs, but we need to look at conditions as well, including anthrax, leprosy, Lyme disease, and a few others. And then there is fungal infections we need to look at. Then we have helminth infections, things like worms, protozoal infections, and then, of course, viral infections. This is a section often uh, overlooked by pre reg students or left till last. The section that some students are like, oh, that's the one thing I didn't revise. Uh, looking at viral infections, especially HIV drugs, um, it can be slightly overwhelming or le like learning a new language because some of the drugs are extremely hard to pronounce, extremely hard to remember in your head and piecing together side effects and indications can be slightly confusing, which is why we have a section on the website dedicated to helping you memorize. Um, so we recommend that you look at uh, using mnemonics as well to help you put some of these things, put some of these concepts into your mind. Well, without further ado, let's get started with Infections Made Clear here at Pharmacy Skills.